Hey guys, Taufik here. In this video, I'm going to provide you an SQL assignment that was asked during a recent SQL interview. Now, it was shared to me by one of my subscribers called Pranavi. She had recently given an SQL interview and during her interview, she was given this SQL assignment and she was given 48 hours to solve this assignment. Now, the role that she was applying for, I think, was an analyst role and it was for, I think, zero to two years of experience role. So, the assignment itself is not very complex. I believe some of the questions are pretty basic and some of the questions are intermediate level. Now in this video, I'm going to share with you the SQL assignment that Pranavi received during her interview and I'm going to provide you all the details, the data set and everything else that you need to solve this problem. Okay. And four days later, that is next week on Tuesday, 21st June 2022, I will be posting the second part of this video where I will be providing you the solution to all of this SQL assignment problems. Now, the reason why I have split this video into two different parts is because in this part, I just wanted to share with you the assignment so you guys can get an opportunity to look at the assignment and solve it yourself. You can then share with me your solution in my email ID that is contact.techtfq at gmail.com. So you can share with me your solution and if I like your solution, then I'll try to mention your name and your solution in my blog. Now, one more thing that I want to mention is that you have 48 hours to solve this problem. I don't think you need 48 hours to solve this problem, but if you are able to share with me your solution within the first 48 hours, and if your solution is good enough, then I'll try to mention your name and solution in my blog and maybe in my next part of this video as well. Now, this SQL assignment and all the files that you need to basically solve this problem, I will be sharing that in my blog so you can download it for free and you can try to solve it. Now, without wasting any more time, straight away, let's look into the assignment and let me try to explain you what the questions are. Okay, so now let's look at the assignment itself. Now, it's basically a text file that was given with all the details that you need to basically complete this assignment. The first thing that they have mentioned is you need to complete this assignment within 48 hours. And then they have mentioned that depending on how many queries you solve, you will get so many points. Okay, more queries you solve, more points you get, okay, or more chance you give yourself to clear the interview. And then they have mentioned that you can create the below tables using PostgreSQL or MySQL database. But of course, it does not mean that you cannot use any other RDBMS. I think uh, the company that uh, Pranavi was giving interview for, uh, I think they use PostgreSQL or MySQL and hence this syntax is basically supported in these two RDBMS. But of course, let's say you're using some other RDBMS, maybe Oracle or Microsoft SQL Server or some other, then the only difference that you will need to do is you may need to replace this current timestamp function with some other corresponding function supported in other in that particular RDBMS and maybe Boolean is not supported in all the other RDBMS and also I think the way how sequence uh, next well of the sequence is called may be different in other RDBMS. Okay, so if you can make these uh, changes in the syntax, then of course you can create this table in any of the other RDBMS and you can solve this assignment using any other RDBMS. Okay. Now let's look at these tables that they have given. One thing to remember is that this data set that they have mentioned is basically related to the school database. Okay, so the first table that they have mentioned is the users table, but before that they are creating a sequence called users ID sequence. Uh, and they're using this sequence to basically populate the ID column in the users table. So this users table is basically a table which holds information about the students as well as about the teachers. Okay, so th that's what this table is. The second table is the batches table. Each school may teach different batches, right? So all the different batches that are available in the school is mentioned in the batches table. Okay, so you can see all the information related to the batches in this particular table. The third table that they have given is the student batch maps table, which basically tells who are the students present in each batch. Okay, that is what is uh, mentioned in this particular table. Okay, and the fourth table is the instructor batch maps table. Basically, it means these are the teachers who are teaching in each of these batches. Okay, that is the information that can be captured from this particular table. The fifth table is the sessions table. This basically tells you what are the different sessions that have been conducted for each batch and who is the teacher who is conducting those uh, sessions. Okay, that is what is present in the sessions table. The sixth table that we have is the attendance table. And as the name suggests, this basically gives you information about the student attendance. So for each session, which are the students that were present is mentioned in this table. Also, we have information about the rating. That is what is the rating given by each student for each session is also mentioned in this table. Okay. The seventh table that we have is the test table. This basically tells you what are the different tests the teacher has conducted for which batch. Okay. Along with what were the total marks that were available for each of this test. So it's basically the information about all the different tests 
that have been conducted for each batch. The last table that we have is the test score. This is the table that tells you what were the marks that have been scored by each student. Okay, so these are the eight different tables that have been provided. Now using these eight tables, we need to solve the SQL queries that have been given. Okay, now that is what they have mentioned here. Using the about tables, please write the following queries. Okay, and they have mentioned to test your queries, you can use some dummy data. Now this is a tricky part because they have not given you the data. So they expect you to either create dummy data yourself or solve this problem without having any data. Now in my opinion, solving these queries without data would be a lot more harder than by having the data. So what you can do is either you can create some dummy data and then try to solve these queries or I have created some dummy data myself which I'm going to be sharing with you in my blog. So both this data set which has not only the table creation script but also the insert script. I'm going to share this file in my blog as well as this original assignment uh, file in my blog. Okay, so either you can create your own dummy data or you can use the dummy data that I have created. Okay, and using that tables and the dummy data that you may or may not create, you will need to solve these queries. There are five different queries that they have given. So first query is calculate the average rating given by students to each teacher for each session. The second uh, question is basically find the attendance percentage for each session for each batch. And then again, you have three more questions. Okay, now I'm not going to read through and explain you what each question is because that is your uh, task you need to understand the question you need to relate it to all the different tables and then you need to solve it okay now one thing that i want to highlight here is for this question number five they have given some additional information okay this additional information will tell you what kind of data needs to be present in the student batch maps table so try to understand this part of the question first uh, before you even try to solve all of these queries Okay, so these are the five queries that you need to solve as per the interviewer. But the thing is, some of these queries are pretty straightforward. So what I did was I came up with three additional questions myself. These are pretty similar to the question that are mentioned here, but I just added these three questions just to make it slightly more interesting. Now, what you need to do is both this file, this assignments file, as well as the data site file, I will attach it in my blog. I'll leave the link to my blog in the description below. So go to my blog and then download these two files, then create this entire data set in your database whichever database you are using and then try to solve this query so these five queries plus the three queries that i have mentioned once you are able to solve it share the solution of these queries with me in my email id contact.techtfq at gmail.com if your solution is good then i'll try to share your name as well as your solution in my blog Okay, so I hope I receive a lot of solutions from you guys and I hope I receive some fantastic solution from you guys. Okay, the next part of this video with the solution will come on 21st June 2022. So definitely stay tuned for that. And one last thing is that if you like this kind of videos where I am making two separate videos, the first video with the questions and the second video with the answers. Let me know what you think about these kind of videos. Okay, do you think this is useful or do you prefer me to have the questions and the answers together in the same video? Just let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, thank you and see you in the next part of this video on 21st. Okay, and good luck.